I get to be up, my up, own cameo down, in the Lord of the Rings movie for the first time ever. So I'm gonna be running, and it's kind of like a glory moment, I think. I'm out of breath because I'm running. But we're recreating a couple scenes in the video. The hobbit jumps over the fence, so I'm doing it. It's not as easy as it looks. And I fell at the very end. I don't think you guys saw that on camera, but I did. How's it looking, guys? Well, we can't play it back. So we're shooting on some of the most advanced camera technology, and we can't play it back. <laughs> <laughs> I have really bad allergies too, so if you see me crying midway through, it's because I'm. It's emotional. It's because it's so magical here. <laughs> <laughs> and we're trying to do all this before the tourists get here because we want to make it look empty like the movie set because you didn't see a bunch of tourists on the movie set. So that's what we're trying to recreate right now. I'm going to nail it first try, guys and girls. We found out in the actual movie they use a stunt double as well. So I am my own stunt double. Singing the Lord of the Rings theme song in my head as I'm running. It gives me all the inspiration well, I need. It is biz uh, better than Disneyland or Disney World, hands down. And getting all these drone shots and all these shots that they didn't even necessarily have in the movie. So our hope with making this with Tours of New Zealand is that Peter Jackson himself will watch it. And to me that will make my life. So Peter Jackson, this is for you. Tell me what it's like having this special Hobbit tour. I was here last year and we there was a lot of tourists around, little groups weaving in and out, but it is it's amazingly peaceful here with like no one else here, so I think we're pretty lucky. We're at uh, Bilbo's house. Bilbo Baggins. People used to call me that in high school. Because he's so short and dwarf like. Are they dwarfs hobbit like? We got done. We got here really early. We only got a half hour of sleep last night. And then we got to the place, our hotel, but it really wasn't because we were only there for an hour charging batteries. Came straight here super early in the morning, and as you see, this area is magical. I'm a super special, we were here for three hours by ourselves before any tourists got here. Now it's a lot of tourists coming right now. But it was just cool kind of seeing and seeing everything from the movies coming to life. And we're finishing the day off now with time lapses, so that's what I'm doing right now. We're setting up our time lapse rig. Um, since we're on a slider, we wanted something to pan against so that you can see movement. So they prepared a special meal for us at the Green Dragon, which is right behind us. So we're gonna go eat with them. And it is the set of The Hobbit. So we're excited for that. Eat some Hobbit food. So how much how many? How much data you consumed in your life? Authentic Hobbit food. All right, so here we are with the one, the only Shane at the Hobbiton movie set. So Shane, tell us where we're at right now. Uh, so we're at Hobbiton movie set here in Matamata. Mata. Uh, so we're the site that was used for the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogies. Uh, so we've all been built permanent. We have 44 Hobbit holes out here. Um, every Hobbit hole is different, created for a different purpose, and we've also got the Green Dragon Inn, which is our pride and joy. So if someone wants to experience the Hobbit movie set, what do they need to do? Where do they need to go? They need to go to our website, uh, hobbitandtours.com, where all of our tour options are there. So this location here, when they actually flew over, spotted the tree and the lake, decided that this was the location they were looking for, they went and knocked on Ian Alexander's door, who's head of the property, um, explained they were from a film company and they'd like to have a look, uh, it almost didn't happen though, because unfortunately for the film crew, Ian was watching a game of rugby on television at the time, which is our national sport, so I told them they'd have to go away and come back at a later date, because there was no way he was going to miss the game. But he told them they can come and have a look around by themselves. So it was quite lucky that they actually found us, and then Ian actually let them onto the property. Come here to experience a little bit of Middle Earth magic. 
Um, something out here for everyone. You don't have to have seen the movies or read the books. It's just a great time learning how uh, Hobbiton was constructed, but how they uh, make a real motion picture out here in a real New Zealand environment. Thanks for doing that. We appreciate it. No problems. Answers everything. So here we are in New Zealand at the Hobbiton movie set. We got here this morning at sunrise, so we gotta go through the whole movie too. We gotta experience the Hobbiton movie set for ourselves, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, in real life. Honestly, I feel it's more magical than Disneyland, so take my word for it. This would not have happened with a lot of amazing people working with them. One of the huge people that made this happen was Tourism New Zealand. They're helping make this whole trip happen. They were the ones that suggested all these amazing things that we do and experience. So I'm gonna have a link below in the description to check out the Hobbiton movie set and also check out Tourism New Zealand and also check out Stoke for Saturday who also helped make this trip possible. So with that being said, over now.